Hey everybody, I'm Mark. And I'm Lisa. And, and we're, we're the, the Yoho's. <laughs> Coming at you from one of our favorite spots. The porch. Yeah, porch talk time. That's right. We want to say, first of all, a huge thank you to anybody who's watched any of our videos of our Cruise in the Med series. There's a four, actually a five part series. And if you haven't, you guys, I have linked that below. We're back to reality. All good things must come to an end. Very true. We have those memories to keep us afloat. And these Get it? Afloat? We were on a cruise. <laughs> so now that we're back home, it's to get back to work. Back to reality, yeah. We have a lot of things to do around this house before we start any new projects. And we do have quite a few new projects in store for you guys and for us because <laughs> it's around our house. <laughs> It's time to clean. Yes, it is. It's time to organize, time to clean because we can't have, find half the stuff that we need to move forward to our next project. So let's go. Okay. Let's get on this. Let's do this. Let's tackle this. Let's get busy. Okay. <laughs> There is nothing glamorous about this kitchen on a Saturday, or most days for that matter. But I do know Mark loves coffee. That's better. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh my, Mark. <laughs> So today's the day, is it? Uh, this is it. It's happening. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We need to claim back some of our lives here. Oh my lanta. Okay, let's do this. Here. What's up? Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to make any promises, but this area here needs to be like, ugh, cleaned. Um, as well as this because you know kids can't put their laundry away yeah and then there's some decor and stuff that we want to put away do you want to just tidy it up while mark's in the other room they're kind of picking away i can't really be in there because it's just not enough walk around room right now embarrassing but it's true it's our dumping ground we have a few puzzles that we actually want to i don't know how we're going to do it maybe put in a frame or podge them i'm not too sure i have to look up how to do it because i'm not 100 sure some of them are really cool mark wants to put that one in the back in his nice little music area back there so he wants to be able to maybe hang it on the wall so we want to i don't know what laminate it or frame it or do something yeah i'm just gonna pick away while mark is in the other room and see what i can get done in here it's not too heavy tasked <laughs> so my arms won't hurt after the end of the day <laughs> Is this the grout for the kitchen? Oh, scared me. Ah, is this the grout for the kitchen? I think it is. Because where would we have bought it for? I don't know. It's pewter though. Oh, maybe for the bathroom upstairs. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, again. Holy cow. All right, I'm busting out the big guns. There's too much dust down here. Whew. I have done this for years. And let me just say that one square per nostril. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Except it tickles your lips. This dust is killing me. Oh, cracks. I didn't know this was here. Wow. Oh, from my friend's birthday party. <coughs> oh my gosh. I just found an empty bin that I bought. Good though, because I'm going to stuff it full of my things. All of my party things. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
them out. I have another shoppy bag. It's like being in a parking spot. I know, you just wheeled her right on in. Okay, so can you please move this? Um, that would be good. Yeah, perfect. If it could fit. Sweet. You know what I was actually thinking? This is not bad storage. Not that I need the storage in the laundry room, but if it can fit on that little wall. Over here, look. I'll show you. On this little wall here. It's fairly narrow. Yeah, you can do that. Sure. Oh my god, and the height yeah. is almost perfect. You wouldn't even have to... Oh, imagine if it fit right inside the hole. Looks like it would. Oh my god, shut up! Oh yeah, it'll fit over top of the hole, no, no problem. Uh, 100%. Shut there, you up! Know that. Let's get the tape measure. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like we've just cracked the uh, code. Okay, so let me explain here. So this thing here, this whole unit, is uh, an old hairdressing unit. So I'm gonna empty it out, see what I need, what I don't need. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. This storage is kind of a bonus storage. So if I wanna keep all of that stuff in there, I mean, I have like a blow dryer and extra clippers and stuff, it's not gonna go bad. Like, let's just go there. So I wanna take this and hopefully, gonna be loud here hopefully there's a hole back here that you guys can't see but hopefully it'll fit right in that hole oh and I'm thinking it's going to really oh man so the opening is 43 inches wide this is 41 and a half no. inches wide no the opening the lowest it can be is 30 inches the highest it can be is 42 inches. It's 36 inches. It's oh. right in the middle. Oh my God. So it's, you won't have to put any extra. I won't Just have a little to bit maybe on the I one side. Slide it in and it's done. This has been a really major breakthrough because it, it keeps me up at night thinking about that hole. <laughs> this is very exciting. And we can put all the kitty litter stuff inside. Oh, genius. Win win. Almost to original specifications. Oh. These virtual uh, reality gloves, they're four dollars. Forty-eight, pardon me. Where did we get these? We got those I on like our trip to Vegas. No, to coming back from South Carolina, we went to that real shady, <gasps> shady That's right. liquidation warehouse. Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah. I remember. It was very shady. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, should I put these in the in the games room? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I feel like. Don't move it yourself. Would you like? I feel like. Do you want to help me? Of course. Um, do all this. Yeah. You still want okay. the high school musical uh, wrapping paper? Who throws out high school musical wrapping paper? <laughs> no, of course I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not kidding. Uh, yeah. I will just put that right in the wrapping paper bin here. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god. So this unit is going to have to stay here until we get to the dump. This is awesome. I am taking this as a win. We know where everything is now. It looks like a mess, but it's not. It's uh, it's pretty good. Very accessible too. That is the coffee mug. <laughs> we feel very accomplished at this moment, so we're just going to ride that wave. <laughs> I know. I know. Hold your horses. I know I'm starving. Oh, this is different. I didn't realize they were cuts and gravy. Let's see if you like those. Oh my, like them. So this Rose of Sharon tree, I kind of have been wanting to cut the couple of the branches off. It just seems really willy nilly to me. I don't know. They say to wait about three years, I think, before you can prune any of the branches. So this is when it's happening. So I'm just using Mark Sawzall, I think it's called. I've never used it, so um, wish me luck. <laughs> but technically I was supposed to cut it in the spring, but I'm over it. I'm just going right for the gusto and hope that I won't damage the rest of the tree.
All right, now I have to get to planting these flowers. The girls got me some flowers for Mother's Day and I also picked up a couple little things along the way when we got back from our trip. So I really need to get them in the ground because I feel like maybe the flowers the girls got me are not gonna live, but we shall see. <laughs> If anybody wants to see how we made this little front garden, we had to reconstruct it because it was falling apart. So I'll link that below. You guys can check it out. It wasn't really too, too bad. And it was basically a weekend project and so worth it. You got this, do it. Hey. So dark. Throughout. Yeah. Shocking, I know. Oh, that was funny. We're upgrading my light in the art room, studio, kitchen area, and I'm pretty excited. I mean, a DIY is a DIY, but it's nice I'm onto something different. This one was on sale. I found this at the thrift store. It was like $1.29. It's such a cute little piece of art. I don't even know. It's almost like a watercolor. And I also have a frame from the thrift store. So all of a $2 and like 50 cents, I think it was. I have a cute little piece of art. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Random too. <laughs> yeah, I gotta find some tape though. Oh, oh careful. I even got the light bulbs. And they're dimmable. We just got this light off of Amazon. I was scrolling through and I don't know, I just found it. I liked it. It's a little more modern than the rest of our place, but I don't know, I kind of like a mix between modern and like old. So I went with it and I love it. And I think it was like around $60, so it didn't break the bank. And it's cute as a bug. Oh yeah, and it's on. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a nice light it is. That is. That's a good height, too. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. That's great. Thanks. Now I can dim it at the lowest there. If anybody's tall enough to hit that, then it's their own fault for being that tall. That's what I'm thinking. There you go. Of course, now I couldn't end this video without showing you a quick little DIY. Last year I got these two little lanterns from a yard sale. They were like I think maybe a dollar a piece. They obviously had something that goes up inside them. I'm thinking like a torch or some kind of a tiki lamp. I don't even know. I did know that I had some solar lights that have been sitting since Christmas. Tiny ones. So I thought why not shove them up inside and use them as little lanterns in their front garden. Now I did give these a really good clean before I spray painted them obviously and then just went to town. I of course have no black spray paint so I'm just gonna put this on as a primer and then worry about it later. <laughs> Anybody who watches our channel knows I love a good spray paint project and this was just a little one easy peasy a lemon squeezy and for some reason I cannot find footage of me spraying them black but it was the exact same process after the purple dried. I then just took the lights and put them up inside the hole of the little lantern and voila, easy peasy, a lemon squeezy again. <laughs> and voila, how cute are these you guys? Wow, that was a really busy weekend, really but good, was. productive incredibly productive the room cleared out we got the basement sorted out we got so many Wins, things my organized. flowers planted we have a huge amount of stuff ready to go to the dump so that is going to be a big win yeah absolutely so that's it thanks again for joining us you guys and i guess we'll see you in the next video try and click that subscribe button if you can oh yeah do that
do that. If you're going to watch us, then join us for all of them yes. and watch us with everything. Yes, and hit that little like button every once in a while because it really helps out our channel. We very much appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Ah...